So I bought this core drill rig a few months ago to be able to core drill at my house, which I haven't done yet, but my parents need to core drill right here for their septic. And when I bought this, I had to balance out the investment of buying it to see whether it was worth it or not. And this was part of the equation, was to do the core drill here. So I called a local core drilling company and asked them how much it would be for them to come in and just do a few holes on my house. And they said it was a $1,200 minimum, and that's even just with one hole, it would cost $1,200. And, and then it could be more than that if there's a bunch of holes, but it was $1,200 for them to show up. So I got looking around online, and I found this company. It's Blue Rock, and it's capable of going through rebar. It's got a diamond bit, but it's a different kind than the normal ones that you would use that snap off when you hit rebar. And this company's got anything you need as far as core drills go. They got much bigger ones than this and they got much smaller ones. I think they got mag drills. And you can also buy like a kit that comes with the bits for cheaper. Um, but I only needed this bit really, so that's why I just got the six inch bit with this one. So we got a four inch septic line that's going out through that wall right there. And that four inch schedule 40 pipe is somewhere is a little over four inches. I think it's four and a half inches is what it's gonna be. So a six inch bit will be fine. One thing that we need to do here, this bolts onto the wall with a half inch anchor. So I have a wedge anchor and I have a Tapcon anchor. I'm gonna try the Tapcon first because then I can unscrew it and remove it. The wedge anchor, once you put it in there, you gotta basically cut it off flush. I'm gonna just put this Tapcon in here first, just to see how it goes. Seems pretty solid. So they give you a little water hose with it so that you can not only cool the cut down but also you can eliminate most of the dust too, which is really nice. And they got a little shut off valve on there and it just hooks up to a garden hose. So I gotta get a garden hose run over here and let's put that core drill on in the meantime though. Let's see how that works. I know that thing's pretty big. See that's the teeth that you want on the end. You don't want those other teeth that are like much narrower. I guess you could say this is almost like um, something that you would use for like tile or something. But that's what's going to cut through rebar. Those other ones, they just break off.
All right, so I think we're ready to fire in the hole. That was sweet. That was pretty much effortless and dustless and very quick. I'm very impressed. Let's take it out and see if we hit any rebar. I don't think so, but maybe. Look at that. Nice. It's not even warm. Well, I don't think I hit any rebar, but I got some more holes to drill at my house. And I'm sure I'll hit rebar in one of those. So I'm very curious to see what happens when you hit rebar, but Going through this eight inches of concrete was effortless. The hardest part was just setting the drill, which I also discovered that you can just split the drill from the bar, which makes it a lot easier. There was just a set screw on it that you had to take out and that's it. So now we can set this septic line for my parents. So we are back at my house and I need to core drill a couple holes, but before we do that, let's take the concrete out of here and just check out, see what it looks like.
So the nice thing about ICFs is they have numbers on them so you can correlate with the back side of it with the numbers and you can get an exact spot where you need to be. So I need to take out this rectangle area here and I ran the lines past it so that when I cut that out I can redraw that line. That's the center of where the hole is supposed to be and then that's the center where the half inch anchor is supposed to go. So again I drew the lines out and up so I know where the centers are.
Look at this rebar that I hit right here. Two pieces of rebar on that side and two on this side. It was a So on this side of the house, I needed to put this hole here for my dryer. So in this hole, I got a set of horizontal rebar and a set of vertical rebar. Verticals right there and right there, and then horizontal and right there. See, there's two pieces of rebar right there. And then of course on the other side, you hit it again. And then on this one, there's a piece of rebar. There's a piece of rebar. Which means on the other side, again, the same thing. Two pieces of rebar, one right there. It did really well going through that rebar. I couldn't even tell. It slowed down maybe a little bit, but it wasn't even enough to barely notice. And then of course my parents, I didn't hit the rebar, which is kind of pure luck because the rebar is every 16 inches. So if you got a six inch piece, there's a good chance that you're gonna hit a piece of rebar. And there's 16 inches going both ways, horizontally and vertically. So the chance of you hitting a piece of rebar is greater than not hitting one. But again, it didn't really seem to slow down the drill. It's meant for that. But anyways, I'm not paid to do this video about this Blue Rock core drill or anything. Um, I bought it like anybody else would. I didn't get any kind of discount or anything. But as far as I can see, I would recommend it. It seems like a pretty good tool. I think you could actually make money off of it if you went in the core drilling business. You could probably use that almost every day. You just gotta take care of it, grease it up a little bit. Uh, maybe not push too hard. I didn't really push that hard. Um, I already have a few more uses for it. I just have to get a different bit because I have to core drill for my geothermal coming in that side of the building. So I'll probably end up getting like a two or two and a half inch bit for that. That's a pretty big pipe coming into there. And like I said, I got to do the dryer duct for my parents' house too. And they might also need a fresh air system. So I might have to do a couple more for that. We're not sure yet. But anyways... That's it for this video guys and I will catch you on the next one.